Hi, this is Vicki Go for Farnell. And I've come to share a word from the Lord that I received 214, excuse me, 61424 at 651 a.m. And it is titled Time of Revealing. Today is 61524. And I took the day off yesterday from the internet. We'll probably do that most of the day today, but the Lord said get this word out. So I'm asking you to pray about this word. You lay it before the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer. It is your responsibility to, to test and try each thing. You do that through the verses. And there's more in there if you'll do the study. I'm just giving the ones I'm told to give. You should be letting the Holy Spirit lead you to study out the matter more. The verses are 1 John 4, 1-3, through 13-15. Even that whole chapter is good. And 1 Corinthians 12, 3. All right, let's pray, and I'm asking those, excuse me, who pray in Jesus Christ's name, who can declare Jesus Christ is their Lord. Please pray. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Father God and Jesus Christ. And I bind all the others that would try to come forth, be spewed out, you know, from the woohoo wahoo garbage, witchcraft and all that stuff, satanic prayers. I bind you in Jesus Christ's name. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, I ask you to lead this prayer in Jesus Christ's name because you know what needs to be prayed. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I come before your throne as a beloved daughter. We are all beloved children to you. And I pray and I ask in Jesus Christ's name so that everything I pray will glorify you and it will be done according to Jesus Christ. Because the word said in John 14, 13, and 14, Whatever is done in Jesus Christ's name will glorify you. In verse 13 and verse 14 says, Whatever I ask in Jesus Christ's name, he will do it. And if I ask Holy Spirit to lead this prayer, I'm not praying out of your will. So Jesus Christ, please answer this prayer. Now I pray this be placed under the barrier of stealth and invisibility, meaning hiding this under the shadow of your wings, Father. Meaning that the invisible God that makes things visible, that makes the visible invisible, would do so in this, in Jesus Christ's name. Until the time... It needs to be seen and heard. And if it needs to be totally hid from the enemy, so be. So be it, Lord. Your will. I don't care. I don't care myself who we reach except who you need it to reach. And you will see that that is done. I'm not here for numbers. I'm not here for likes. I'm not here for smiley faces. I am here to get your word out. To get your warnings out. And to reach all the lost that I can. To encourage my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ as they encourage me. Father God, it is a family. It is a relationship. And in Jesus Christ's name. If this is just for one person, so be it. Your will be done. Your will be done. I surrender myself to you, Jesus Christ. I trust you with my very life and that of my family. You are everything to me. I pray now that every plot, gin, snare, device, scheme, arrow, dart, and all such things of the enemy would be pulled out, broken, sent back in Jesus Christ's name. And all residue be removed by the blood of Jesus Christ and the fire of God. Lord, I give you praise. I give you praise. I ask, Father God, that you take this north, south, east, west on the wings of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I ask in Jesus Christ's name that if this ministry is not of you, that it would fall. In the name of Jesus Christ. God's creatures. I'm sorry. In the name of Jesus Christ, send this north, south, east, west. And again, if this ministry is not from you, Father God, you know I did not set out to create a ministry. I was simply sharing dreams and visions and words. Simply, I'm a daughter of heaven. I have been born again, accepted by Jesus Christ into his kingdom. Father God, into your kingdom. That's who I am, a daughter of heaven, a child of God. I am the least of the least. Don't let me speak a word that's not from you. And if this is not from you, this ministry of yours, it is yours, Jesus Christ. Shut it down. Shut it down. Luke 8, 17, upon this ministry. Luke 8, 17, upon my life and that of my family. Luke 17, Luke 8, 17, excuse me. Luke 8, 17, Father. Luke 8, 17, Luke 
8, 17, Mark 4, 22, 23, Ecclesiastes 12, 14. Everything that's hidden will be brought to light in the name of Jesus Christ. And any hindrances or spells or bewitchments or any such things trying to be cast at me on a trigger for anything I'm doing for this, this video right now, I bind you. Matthew 18, 18 says, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I bind you demons sent to annoy or try to hinder me in Jesus Christ's name. I bind the fallen angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I do. I can do that through Jesus Christ because the devil was a fallen angel, is a fallen angel. The devil can be bound and sent away. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. James 4, 7. Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give unto you all power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. Every single one of them. When our life lines up with you, Jesus Christ, when we stand in the power and might of your name and your name alone, because it's all you and your sweet Holy Spirit that allows us to, to live and to work and to operate in the power of Almighty God. Father God, I give you praise in all things. Every weapon, gizmo, gadget, device, technology, and such like things in this whole firmament, assigned, going to be assigned, planning on being assigned, will come up by some new means. All you know of, Father God, for this day and this night. I break it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rescind it back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ Lord. As you see fit. And I'm not sending anything out. I'm saying you do it. It's all in the name of Jesus Christ. The power that is placed inside the name of Jesus Christ. I break them every one. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break and stop every program. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the systems. In the internet. In the name of Jesus Christ. I give you praise Father. Your word says no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I'm living proof of that. And I stand on your word. And I declare boldly that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. And there's all power through Jesus Christ. If you live a holy submitted life to him in obedience. Now I declare and decree there will be absolutely no retaliation. Standing on Job 22, 28. I decree that this will not have any backlash, interference, anything of such like nature in any form known to God by the kingdom of darkness at any time. And that this video and the others will be covered and protected by the blood of Jesus. All curses, bewitchments, and such like things are hereby permanently removed. Hereby on orders of Jesus Christ, standing in the power of Jesus Christ, declaring this. This ministry is being sealed and shut down and locked down in the blood of Jesus Christ. And everything that's not of God will exit. Now, Father God, help me finish weeding out. In the PDF, so things that need to be moved and anything else in the ministry. For unclean hands have been touching things. You have protected the integrity of the word. But myself, I want to get everything out. Help me purge this ministry of everything ungodly in the name of Jesus Christ. But Father God, I ask you do it. Holy Spirit, you do it. Fire of God, come down and purge it out in Jesus Christ's name. Now, Lord, as I go through these ebooks and do all this, I ask for your blessings and your favor. Now, Lord, I ask that you would strengthen us as we go forward, Lord. As we go forward. Lord, I wake up every morning and I can, I can smell the fragrance of you. And I can sense the urgency, the excitement in heaven that it's time. So help our brothers and sisters, Lord. Help my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hold on and hang on because you're about to come through those skies. Lord, don't let any, any that we can prevent from not making it, Lord. Strengthen and encourage because I don't know who you've called, who will make it, who won't, Lord. But you are faithful. Even for those that are left behind, you will prove yourself faithful in a mighty, mighty way. 
I give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, this dream again came forth yesterday. Thank you, Lord. Dream. I'm sorry. I had a dream last night. When the Lord spoke of something in this, I went praying about it. He mentioned to me of other things about giants and other things, but there's, you know, apparently worse than giants, and there is. And um, that's coming. The Titans. The Titans are coming, which are, if you'll do the study in the Greek mythology and, and all that. So he gave me a dream last night confirming what I was asking about. Okay, this word came forth, 614-24, 6.51 a.m. Time of revealing is what he named it. It's time for a revealing daughter of mine. A further revealing of secrets as evil is unleashed upon the earth before my darkness of three days descends. I shall reveal key elements. So my children, those who are preparing, not only physically, but also spiritually, for those of mine who will be left behind, to add the additional information of warnings to their pertinent information. You know what I am talking about. I do, Jesus Christ, my love. A time, a time. It's a time now for things once hidden to be revealed. As I unlock further, my mysteries held inside the now open scroll in heaven. Now in KJV, the scroll he's talking about is Revelation 5 and 6. It's also called a book in KJV. It is also a scroll in other translations, and that's what it means. I'm just going ahead and adding that because I use the KJV and it says book. A time, a time. It's a time now for things once hidden to be revealed. As I unlock further my mysteries held inside the now open scroll in heaven. A revealing has come. The time to reveal is now upon your world. Your world shall be forever changed as those demons and fallen ones released during the three days of darkness descend upon your world. Not all will show themselves as evil. They shall appear as angels of light to be worshipped by many. Some even claiming to still be holy angels from my heaven above. They are not, daughter. They are evil. Some will appear as the friendly, bug-eyed aliens, as you call them, daughter, and more. While others shall... Excuse me. While others shall show themselves as a, a superior race living beneath the earth's soil of reptilian nature, as pertaining to lizards and snake like appearances. I have shown you these as well by both dream and visions. Yes, Jesus, my love, you have. These will present themselves as ruthless and evil the majority of the time. The fallen ones will reveal themselves from among key locations of your world, among the rich and famous, as many things, presenting themselves as benevolent and loving as they offer promises and supernatural abilities that can only be granted when you give yourself fully over to them, and many demons take control of your soul, possessing you fully. Among all, the, all of this, you shall have the return of the Titans. The fallen angels once worshipped as gods and deities who will demand worship by the world's people once again. They will make themselves appear beautiful and attractive by deceptive means. Very few daughter will be seen unless in battle of those of gray color you have been allowed to see. I understand, Jesus Christ, my love. All this and so much more is what your world will be facing as the man of sin comes to full power. His ascent with his crowning underground by the elite, famous, and rich of your world was the key that unlocked the door to allow all this to enter in. Daughter of mine, it's time for a further revealing as the clock ticks down quickly for the three days of darkness to descend. You have warned 
many have warned. All had time to make their preparations and plans to be ready when the sign of the colorful lights come dancing vibrantly across your world sky. A further reveal since my restrainer, he who leadeth, has stepped back from this position. It's time for Antichrist, excuse me, it's time for a reveal of more information on the Antichrist himself as this chapter ends and a new one begins. And my great day of wrath and vengeance is the first page of the final chapter for your world, if she were a book. The end is drawing near until close. No more time will be granted. What will be is written in the scripture of truth for all to read. It's time, daughter. It's time. It's a Luke 8:17 kind of moment as you so often pray over yourself before the whole world. Take heart, though, my children, because before the worst hits, I come for mine. I come for my beautiful bride who has eagerly made herself ready for my return. It's time for this too. Father says it's time, and so do I. Be ready, my bride. The clock is ticking down for your world, and the timer for my return is almost at the zero. I love you, my children, my bride. Be ready. Be ready, for I am coming quickly for you. So be prepared always. So please pray about this word from Jesus Christ. Lay it before Father God and try the spirits. Do so in his name. Here are the verses. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, Matthew 24, 23 through 24. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. Revelation 3.10 1 Corinthians 15.52 Daniel 12 Excuse me, Daniel 2, 1 through 2. Let me check that. I think it's Daniel 12. We'll open right up to Daniel. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I love it when you do that, Holy Spirit. Oh no, this it is Daniel 12, 1 through 2. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of the, thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And that the time that thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Scripture truth. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. I'm knock it off. <laughs> All right, just want to make sure I had that right. All right, Luke 12, 40, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 through 12, 1 Timothy 4. 1 through 2, Hebrews 13, 9, Amos 3, 7, Colossians 1, 26, Proverbs 1, 5, Matthew 11, 15 through 17, Matthew 24, again, 4 through 5, and 12 through 13. I ask that you take this to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer. Again, I don't know if I'll be sharing the dream from last night. It was a dream because I asked him, okay, Lord, you're talking about the Titans. And I said, give me, give me an example. Again, I, I'm not going to go over the whole dream, but I will say it started out with me seeing a scene from an old Percy Jackson movie. Now, I don't watch those kind of movies anymore, but I used to watch movies a lot. And it was a scene where he was delivering the lightning bolt and he was sitting, standing in front of all the false gods. That's the Titan size coming. So please pray about that. Take it to Lord Jesus Christ in prayer. And we, we know. You know, we know that things hidden made to be as, as um, fairy tales 
and things like that. A lot of it has truth in it. For those of you that don't believe that, okay, I hear that more. A fallen angel is an angel. When you take this into account, in Revelation, It gives you something to compare size of angel. Let's see. It's, sorry, I'm in the seals. The row one. Seven trumpets. I have, I need my other Bible. <laughs> I know exactly where it is. Though. Just give me a moment. chapter 10 the seven thunders when he's talking about the seven thunders verse is it verse 2 lord chat in, in revelation 10 to give you an example of the size that i'm talking about verse 1 and 2 and i saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head and his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire and he had in his hand a little book, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the earth. It's a big angel. And the fallen angels are angels that fell. Pray about all these things. When you start seeking for the truth, and I mean really seeking for the truth of Jesus Christ and how things are, and, and the truth of all, because I don't want to be deceived, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want to be deceived by the lies told that I've, I've been told all my life growing up, the way things are supposed to be in this world. I don't want to come into any form of, de of, of deception I don't want to put my agreement with it in Jesus Christ's name. So I've been praying Luke 8, 17 over everything. Over my life, my family, my friends. And he has stripped it all away. And he's still stripping. And I'm good with that. I am good with that. Because if it means that I can walk with Jesus Christ we're not having to fight all the garbage and, and the the input from those that are trying to destroy me. I'm good with that. But I still pray for them. I still I still bless my enemies and I pray for them. Lord, it sent me into Mark today, uh, to Luke. But I say unto you, this is chapter 6. I But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies. Do good to them that hate you. Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despise you spitefully use you that's what we're supposed to do now it doesn't mean that you're supposed to continue to allow yourself to be abused you know Holy Spirit lead me how do you want this to go you're to show love the love of Jesus Christ to all but if there comes a time you have to make a stand or you have to cut people away or you have to you do it in the authority of Jesus Christ as he leads it to be done. Like when I cut ties with the last people, I just literally cut ties. That's the way Jesus Christ said to do it. I Lord bless them. We are instructed to bless them. If they're savable, it's going to re heap coals of fire upon their heads, draw them to a place of repentance or to a place that they have to make a choice. And in the end, it's all about the souls. Everything we go through, all the abuse, all the hurt, all the, the trials, all the spiritual and physical wounds, 
is to draw us closer to Jesus Christ. But it also is so that we, in our own walks, can help those that's going through the same thing. Because everything you go through, you're a conqueror. When you come through that in Jesus Christ's name victorious, you are a conqueror. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. That's what the Word of God says. Excuse me, in Romans 8. We are more than conquerors. My neighbors don't like it when I get out here <laughs> talking about Jesus Christ. Encourage yourself in the Lord. You know, David, he had a mad king, a possessed king, trying to kill him with all the forces, all the power of that kingdom behind him, trying to kill him. He had God Almighty on his side. What are we to fear? Nothing. When you compare all the forces of this world, when you compare the kingdom of darkness, everything they possess, it's nothing compared to God who created it all with, with his commands. The God who sent down his son, Jehovah God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob, who sent down his son so we could be redeemed and then placed all power in him so we could be victorious by calling on his name, Jesus Christ. So when you're fighting a battle and it seems like you have, you're at your wit's end, as we say, you can't go on any further. You've got to lean into him. Let him carry you through. Surrender to him. Surrender it all. And don't pick it back up. Trust his process. He may take you through the waters because the enemy may not be able to swim. He may take you what looks like 25 miles out of the way to get you to your end destination. But you know what? He may have just taken you out of the way of a million traps. That's the way our God is. We get in in such a hurry. We want this done now. We want this over now. While you're waiting for your victory, and that's what I'm saying, your victory in Jesus Christ, you're victorious. Praise Him in the waiting. He is worthy to be praised at all times. He is worthy for your praise. Whether you're on the opposite side of this, where you've already come through and you're shouting your victory, you should also be praising that same God because He has a power to carry you through. Father God, Jesus Christ. But you got to surrender it to Him. We cannot carry these loads our, ourselves. We are in physical bodies. We are endowed with power through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. That we're fighting spiritual things that roll over into the physical. When you step back and realize every person attacking you, it is the kingdom of darkness. It is Lucifer, it is Satan, it is a devil, it is a demon through that person. Even a saved person can be manipulated without knowing to act. If there's a stronghold in their life, they can be manipulated to come up against you. Or God may be allowing them to rise up against you to move you out of your comfort zone. You can't stay in the comfort zone. You've got to be willing to step out. You've got to be willing to lose it all for Jesus Christ. And when you lose it all, you gain everything. And you gain freedom like never before. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. That's in John 8, 32, 36. Not written that way anymore, but that's what it means. Love one another. Let your differences go. Let your hurts go. Let yourself heal. When you hang on to that hurt, that betrayal, that whatever, you're giving it power over you and the enemy power over you. If you will let that go so you can heal and be healed by our Master, physician Jesus Christ who did, he's already been striped for everything you've ever you, you will ever go through let him heal you physically and spiritually let it go 
Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. For my burden is light. His light, his burden is light compared to the load we carry. I love you in Jesus Christ. I pray for all as the Holy Spirit leads. Please don't let down. Don't give up. We're so close to the end of this until we start this next chapter. We're so close. Jesus Christ has not abandoned us, nor will he ever. Father God has not abandoned us, nor will he ever. For those that are his, he is faithful to the very end, and his mercy is extended forever. Start hiding in your Father. Hide in the shadow of that wing, Psalms 91. And stay there. He never moves. You're the one that moves. If you move out from under that protection, unless, like with Job, he let down the hedge to let him be tried. But even then, Satan had to have permission. And Satan could not take his life because God said no. And at first, the first time in chapter 1, God said, don't touch his life. So he couldn't even attack him. He took everything around him. Job stood true. Satan again. God said, do what you will, but don't take his life. Everybody turned on him. And the friends that came, he called them, what was it, miserable counselors, miserable comforters. Even his wife said, curse God and die. And in that process of what Job went through, God purified the things. He was righteous, yes. But he had a little self-righteousness in there too that God purged out of him. He humbled him and made him a mighty, mighty, mightier man of God. Trust the Lord. Deuteronomy 7, 9 tells us he is known as the faithful God. I love this verse. I asked the Lord, I said, you know, you keep telling me you make covenant with me and you're faithful. I said, surely there's a verse in here. Deuteronomy 7, 9. The Lord did not set his love. Wrong one. Seven nine. I'm reading 7, 7. Excuse me. <laughs> know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Promises of God. God never breaks a covenant unless you break it first. Take this to prayer. Take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. We are all the same in the kingdom of God. There's no big eyes or little use. We're all brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. So it's time. We come together and unite. Pray for one another and be the hands and feet we're called to be. Every person out there is fighting that's a true child of God. Fighting in ways we've never fought before. No matter what level you're on, there's different levels as you learn more and you learn more. You're still fighting the fierce battle that each is on your level. You're fighting what you can handle, what you've been taught to fight. So you are a great warrior on whatever level you are through Jesus Christ. Through the power of his name. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. All right, from Tennessee, I hear like I'm supposed to just go ahead and wrap it up.
God bless. Stay under the blood of Jesus Christ always. This is the My Lovely Jesus Ministry, www.mylovelyjesusministry.com. Currently, our prayer email is still not available. I'm still seeking Jesus Christ. How do you want me to proceed with that? And I'm still using this temporary laptop, which I'm praying and asking the Lord I may just upgrade it and see how he wants to go. I just, um, I just, it's an electronic. I don't trust them. <laughs> but I know Jesus' blood can seal them and cover them. His will be done. All right, in everything, give thanks and praise to your God and King. He is soon returning. All right, bye-bye.